Yes, back to you, Chamberlain. Oh, yes, Mark. But, um, you were going to respond to what the president said. Yes. Um, I, I think that if the postponement of the elections had become uh, an issue, the, the, the president's reaction yesterday was most unexpected. Which one of them? The first one was calling out on the army and security agencies to, as he put it, be ruthless. Now, I don't know if the president has become a court of law that will make pronouncements even before people are arrested, arraigned, and tried. I don't also know if he was carried away by Adam Soshomule's own tempo of just making very puerile allegations. No proof. PDP is, PDP, INEC is working with PDP, no proof. That's the chairman of the party. The chairman of the party. And they just, I am disgusted by the conduct of these key players. And Adam Soshomole is still behaving as if he is NLC Labour leader, president. He's just being combative without even defining his opponent. He talks about the tweets he that he, the PDP sent out. Proof is, proof is not tweet. Anybody can send any tweet. You and I know that. He, look, these people have to show a lot more restraint, a lot more maturity. Does the president saying they'd be ruthless mean that the army and the rest of them will take laws into their it hands? It was very suggestive. What he said was that anybody who attempts to snatch a ballot box in wherever part of this country, that will probably be the last unlawful act. In the ordinary words of in the ordinary meaning of those words, it means if I snatch a ballot box, that's the last I will see in my life. And do you think the army and police will obey that ruthlessly? Well, it is not, you see, even the president didn't have to say it. It's his body language that they, they, they obey. It is the president's body language that his subordinates, uh, subordinates obey. But if he then speaks, go and pick up that stupid man, they will beat me to hell. They will beat me and pummel me before they bring me over. The point is, it was that state, is that, is that presidential? Mm, does, right. that, does that ameliorate the situation? First of all, then, uh, unfortunately, time catches up on some of these things. We really appreciate your coming on this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, Ide Gabo is the publisher of the Fonks National Interest Newspaper. We're back in a moment. Stay with us.